So today we're absolutely delighted to be joined by Toby and Tomi Ariomi. Guys, how are you doing? We're doing great, how are you? Fantastic, now thank you so much for joining us. You guys, we've been following you on Revelation TV for a while now. Our viewers are familiar with you, but for any of the new viewers out there who are seeing you guys for the very first time, give us a little insight into your background. Well, um, I'm Tomi, this is my twin brother, Toby, and uh, we both, uh, uh, basically, we were both full-time ministers serving the Lord, preaching, traveling, believing God for revival, everywhere we go. Yeah. Um, we started ministry when we were 15 years old. Our first actual interview was on television. Our first our first our ministry engagement ministry, was on Revelation, yeah, Revelation TV. TV. So it's, it's kind of uh, it's kind of ironic that we're we're back here continuing that that legacy. And uh, you know we've been grateful for Revelation since we started because it really was a door opener for us. And uh, I mean, talk about taking the training wheels off and just going head over heels right for it. And since then, we just never stopped. We just keep loving, serving, and growing in the Lord. You seem to have so much faith in Christ, faith in God. Is your faith ever tested? And if it is, what advice would you give to any yeah, Christians yeah, watching us uh, today? The devil doesn't even bother us. I don't know. I mean, what? We float on clouds. We float <laughs> on clouds. I'm walking to the room, there's a song. Uh, just the other day, uh, a, a pigeon bought me money into, into money. my living room. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, what? What? <laughs> um, no, it's, I mean, it's, uh, you know, Paul said, don't count it strange uh, that you're going through diverse trials. Um, what makes the trials easy is the realization that everything you're going through, every person that's been in your life that betrayed you, everything that you've ever passed through that pained you is there for one reason. Is to conform you to the image of Jesus. Okay. It's to make you like the Lord. You know, there's probably a, a, a husband watching, struggling with the wife. Oh, God, my wife is terrible. No, no, no. Your wife is there to make you more like Jesus. Everything, when you realize the big picture, that these troubles are working in me a far greater way to glory, that they are making me more like Christ. Therefore, everything that my faith doesn't change, God is using it to change me. Mm. He's using it to conform me to his image. Um, it changes everything. It literally changes your whole mindset. And it, it gives you a sense of patience because heaven has only one measure of success. We have several. What job we have, who our friends are, how much is in our bank account, who we get married to, where we live. We have so many measures of success. God has only one measure of success on Judgment Day. Did we reach the stature of who Jesus is? Did we become like him? And unfortunately, Christians don't say lies, they sing them. You know, we, say, we sing, I will give you all my worship. I give my life away. And then we give it to God on credit, but God demands it later and says, I take cash now. And uh, <laughs> at the moment he tries to cash out, we say, oh, God, I you know, oh, what's going on? You know, and he said, you, you said you want to you sang that song on Sunday. I want to be like you, God. And, you know, if you want to share in his glory, you've got to share in his suffering. Also, it's not just that you don't take Jesus only the, on the good days. You learn to. Uh, worship even in the bad days. And I, I'll leave, I'll let my brother take over just on this point. One thing that I always tell people is, um, is just be consistent with God. What God is looking for is consistency. Um, in the midst of circumstances, everything can be going wrong. But can you become, can your faith be strengthened to the point that you become as immovable as the rock? When, uh, when God fired his old worship leader, Lucifer, um, and he sent him to earth. And then he says, you know, jo Lucifer tests Job. And God says, uh, Satan says to God, does Job fear you for nothing? You've put a hedge around him. God says, Satan, I'm going to show you how to really worship. Because you thought you knew what worship meant, but you live in heaven. You've never experienced heartbreak, never experienced pain, never experienced sorrow. But these people live in the midst of contradictions. And so uh, Satan was allowed to send contradictions into Job's life, things that would hurt him, things that would wound him. But Job in the midst of it said, though he slay me, I will trust him. All the days of my life, I will wait up until my change comes. I know my Redeemer lives. I always teach a message, and it's titled this, Teach the Angels How to Worship. Mm. You know, 
because God vacated his throne in heaven to live on Mount Sinai with three million slaves. He vacated a, a heavenly throne with beautiful sound to live with the croaky voice of Miriam and Aaron as they're playing their tambourines in the wilderness. And it's for this very reason, because angels don't have a choice. They see God all the time. They see his glory. So, it's, it, you know, you can't really tell if someone loves you when they're always seeing how much is in your bank account. Yeah. But when, when, when you're in the midst of contradiction, <clears throat> everything is going wrong. Can you learn to worship? Yeah. And this was what I was saying before about worry. We can make a different choice. If you can worry, you can also worship. Yeah. And that's the, that's the different choice. It's either I spend my whole life in worry, or I spend, instead of using that time that I used to worry, which, by the way, adds nothing to my life, the Bible says. Yeah. Why don't I use it instead to worship? Brilliant. Because I always tell people this, worship is the highest form of warfare. Excellent. If you can learn to worship, the devil just stops bothering you because every single time he prods you, you just worship and then he goes, do you know what? This person's crazy. Let's leave him alone.